we have district random variables. Your definition for random variable is numerical measure of outcome of probability experiment. So what we need on this part is district uh, random variable. And here on this side, we have continuous. What is the difference between these two? For this grid, we can count what we have here. So we are able to count this part. See, on this part, we have how many points we have on this number line is, uh, I have one, two, three, four, five points. So this is countable. But and this part continuous random variable is we cannot count these, we only can measure it. So see, I don't know how many points we have here on this line. So starting from zero up to four, we may have like a rational uh, real numbers in two. So all the numbers we can have here. So we can say that we have too many numbers on this part and it's not countable. So it's not. Countable. Uh, example number one, determine whether the following random variables are disparate or continuous. Part A, the number of light bulbs that burn out in a room of 10 light bulbs in the next year. So here, this part is discrete because we can count these. So I want to use X. It says of light and that starting from can have zero uh, light and light bulbs and one, two, three, up to 10 light bulbs. And probably the length of uh, time between calls to 911. So it's time between. And this time is not countable. So we have this as continuous. And for time, I'm using T. And t always is greater than zero. Okay. Now here we have rules for discrete uh, probability distribution. So for probability, we're gonna use uh, this p, uh, meaning that probability, and x is random variable. So random variable x equals x, then we should have these two rules. Number one, sum of all these probabilities should be equal to one, and also each one of these uh, should be between zero and one. If you had these two, that means that you have uh, this probability rule. So you pass that rule and now on this part example, we wanna apply that rule here on this part. So which of the following discrete uh, probability distribution, which, which of the following is a discrete probability distribution, part A? Okay, so the first rule, we should add all these numbers. Okay, well, let's see, before adding uh, that number here, based on uh, what we had on the role, uh, second rule. Here we have native number. See, on top we have the second rule. This should be between zero and positive one. But here is less than zero, it's native number. So point, negative point 15 is not less than Okay, it's not between zero and one. 
but the answer for this part is no. Because probability of x must be between 0 and 1. So between 0 and 1. Now part b, okay, here is typo. I have exactly the same thing. I'm changing that one. So let's change just one to, for example, point thirty four. Okay, so all these numbers are between zero and one. So we passed second rule. Now let's try uh, first rule. Adding all these numbers that is equal to one point forty nine. And this should be equal to 1, which is not equal to 1. That's why we didn't pass first rule. So the answer again for this part is no. So the answer here for this part, no. Because the sum of uh, all these probabilities must be equal to 1. Okay, now it's your part, part C. Here for part C, all of these are between 0 and 1. So, okay, here on top, here also I have this equal to. So, probability of x should be greater than equal to 0, less than equal to 1. And here all of these are between 0 and 1. So we pass first rule. And second rule, adding all these numbers. So add all these numbers. is equal to 1. So what that means, we pass the first and second rule. So the answer is yes. Yes, it says the shared probability distribution. All of these probabilities are, so this is the probability x1. You can say, okay, p x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, because we have five variables in that part. So all px or all probability of that variable x are between zero and one, and also Adding them is equal to 1. Okay, now here is the meaning of a discrete random variable. And this part is standard deviation of discrete random variable. So this x is value of random variable. And p of x here is probability of x.
So same thing for this part. This is the value and here is mean and here is probability of x. Yeah, I'm gonna use the first one to find the uh, standard deviation. Or we can use calculator. So for calculator, we need to enter data first. So I'm writing steps here for you. So first, uh, using TI, 84, press that. Then enter. So on this part, enter data. After you enter data, then guess that. Then press OK. So after you has that, you want to see uh, here we have on top, uh, we have enter, then we have calculate. So choose this one. Then after that, choosing the first one we have for that. And then you can see the answer is uh, like this. this one is mean and here we have standard deviation and if you scroll down we can see like uh, q1 q2 q3 like that and those uh, but you don't need that part for this one okay let's work on example example three the following data represent the number of games played in a series of an owl tournament from 1928 to 2006. Okay, so we have on uh, the first row we have X, and that is for games played, and here is frequency. How many uh, times that four was repeated here? So that's why this is frequency. We had this four before, so. For a construct uh, discrete uh, probability distribution for the random variable x. So here on this column we have uh, our x, which is on exactly what we have here on top, four, five, six, seven, and on this part we should find probability of x. Okay, so first, find sum of frequency, so adding these numbers. So sum of frequency is 16 plus 11 plus 22 plus 28, that is equal to 77. Now to find probability of x, divide frequency divided by sum of frequency. So 16 divided by 77. One and two, three decimal places, we have 0 0.208. Next one is 11. 
divided by 77. That is 0.143. Then here is 22. Oh, 22 divided by 77. Running it, it's 0.286. Uh, this part we have 28, so 28 divided by 77. It's uh, 0.364. So first I want to find the answer using uh, the formula that we had on the previous page. Then uh, we're going to use calculator to find the answer. So finding mean. So that was equal to sum of our value times probability of x. Okay, so this is equal to, so here is uh, x and here is p of x, so 4 times 0 0.208, 5. then we have sum, so in between use add, then we have 5 times 0 0.143, plus 6 times 0.286 plus 7 times 0.364 so what we have here is 0.832 plus 0 0.715 1.716 2.548 so that is equal to 5.811 okay so that's our mean Now, part we draw probabilities is around uh, choose the correct one. So, based on what we have here on top. So, here on this part, we have our value x, and on this vertical line, we have probability of x. So, starting from that point, uh, if you had four. 4x, you should have 0 0.208. Uh, here is 0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, and 0 0.5. See, this one is 0 0.3. Here is, it's close to 0 0.1. And here is 0 0.3. So that means here is 0.208. So that means uh, this is the correct one. And uh, well, let's um, make sure that the rest of it is correct. So if I have, so this is 4, 5, 6, 7. So if I have 5, I should have. 0.143, mm -hmm, correct. Then for 6, we have 2.286, mm -hmm, correct, because this is uh, less than 0 0.3. And when you have 7, that is uh, 0 0.364. Okay, so uh, this is the correct answer.
then party uh, find mean of random variable x so we already got the answer I'm in part a but on this part I want to use calculator instead so I use calculate calculator or ti84 So first you need uh, to enter data. So let me show you calculator. So I don't have software installed on my PC, but I can take picture of what I have here on my TI calculator. Okay, so first step, uh, press start. After you press start, you're gonna see this page. Okay, so choosing the first one, one edit. So after that, you need to use enter. So press enter. And then enter data. So entering data here is what I have so to enter data press 4 for example the first one press 4 and then enter then press 5 enter press 6 enter and then move to so after you entered all this move to L2 and enter all data for probability of x so this is what we have for our value x and this column is for probability of x after that again press that so this is what, what I have again and then you need to uh, choose this calculate so move to that point Okay, here is what you should have. Now choosing the first one works that, press enter. Okay, here is what we have. You should have list L1 and here you should have L2. If you didn't have this L2, your answer will not be correct. So if in case you didn't have L2, you can enter it by pressing second and then press two. So second, two, you can, you can enter L2. Okay, then after it, enter, enter, again enter. You can, you can see the answer. Okay, so here is what I got. So this is me. I got uh, five point, um, 800 but without calculator we got 5.11 it's not that bad it's very close because that is because we rounded our numbers for probability of x okay so and here for we're gonna use this one for other part so uh, for standard deviation we have one point 139 running it we can have 1.14 so let's go back here okay so using calculator we entered l1 l2 And then we used var stat. So after we press that one, we saw this list L1 and frequency should be L2. 
or then press enter enter the answer we got mean um rounding it um we got 5.800 or we can write 5.8 so this was using calculator Okay, now part D, uh, interpret the mean of random variable x. So based on what we got on part C, what that means. So mean means uh, we have on average, what we have on average is. The number of games played or x. In each series is expected uh, to be about Okay, now part E. Find a standard deviation of random variable x. Okay, on this part I want to use, uh, I want to um, find the answer without calculating the first. Or I only will write, I will uh, write the formula for that part and then you can use calculator to write the final answer because it's uh, time consuming if you don't use calculator for those part. So standard deviation is equal to this is from previous page square root of sum of what the value is. minus mean I'm using the, the one that we got using TI84 so for me we got 5.8 times probability of x okay so that is equal to Okay, we need to add, so our x is starting from uh, 5, okay, here, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we have all these are for x, and that's for this probability of x. So 4 minus mean from previous part is 5.8, then square times probability of x is uh, 0.208 so times 0.208 then plus 5 minus again mean square times probability of x See, this column is probability of x based on what x is 
Now for x equal to 5, probability of x is 0 0.143. Then plus 6 minus 5.8 square times we have 0 0.286 then plus 7 minus 5.8 square times p of x for this part is 0 0.364 okay so this is equal to So we have 3.24 times 0 0.208 plus 0 0.64 times 0 0.143 plus 0 and here is times 0.364 so here we have point 67 392 point zero 9152.0144 plus point fifty two four hundred sixteen now square root of one point three one hundred four running it the answer is 1.14. And also using TI84, we got exactly the same thing. Okay, so here was uh, section one from chapter five, a later book on 5.2. Okay, so bye-bye for now.